jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in the world of this way. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Today is Vlogmas Day 6. Let's go! Woo! It's Vlogmas Day 6. Can you guys believe it? We made it six days so far. We are six days into this. This is our sixth day, obviously, because it's Vlogmas, doing a video back to back to back. And it's been so much fun, but today we got a fun video in store for you. As you can probably tell by the title of the video, we're doing a little mukbang, but we're doing it with a twist. We're doing it with a twist. So. No, we're not. <laughs> got he. <laughs> got he. <laughs> okay, never mind. We're not. Just kidding. Yeah, we are. But we're doing it with a twist. We're doing some Christmas trivia. And what we're going to do, well, let me tell you, because you kind of know, but you don't know the whole thing. What we're going to do while we eat is I'm going to be asking you some Christmas trivia. And if you get at least, let's see. If you get at least seven of them right, that's then, so funny. I was literally thinking yeah? seven in my brain. Let's go. Seven. Oh, if you get at least seven of them right, I'm gonna eat a spoonful of chili. Oh! Or I'll let you squirt some. Nah, because I feel like you'll be like, ah. I'm gonna eat a spoonful of chili because there has to be a punishment. Come on. If she gets at least seven of them right, I'm gonna eat a spoonful. And if you don't, then I'm gonna put some on your nose. Rudolph the Red. Yeah. Anyways, guys, let's get into it. And you guys can also participate. You know, as you're watching, you can see if you know the answers to these questions. I think they're pretty cool questions. Uh, they're all about Christmas, Christmas trivia. So we're definitely in the Christmas season, obviously. So let's see if she knows the answers and let's see if you know the answers. So let's get right into it. Ben, you ready? Victory, help me. Victory can help you, for sure. We're a team. High all high. right. And just so you guys know, these five, questions. Just so you guys know, these questions are from ChatGPT. They're the internet's most asked Christmas trivia Yay. questions. Food, food, but food. before we get into it, here's our food. Boom. And I know typically mukbangs are supposed to be like a lot of food, but we don't really eat canes. We try to eat clean. So I was going to get a lot, but I'm like, let me just keep it low. So we eat good. All right, baby, ready? Ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay. You got some chicken? Yeah, we love oh, chicken. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna change it, babe. I'm gonna ask you 10 questions, and if you get at least four of them right, I'll eat a spoonful of chili. Okay. Ready? Okay. Question number one In what country did the tradition of Christmas originate? I'll say it again, because maybe you're watching and you wanna know. In what question. Did you burp? Good job. <laughs> in what question, I'm sorry, in what country did the <laughs> Guys, this is our style of mukbang and um, trivia, you know, it's not going to be like perfect because we have a two-year-old, she's almost three, and she brings random fun energy and has a lot of random things that she wants to do. You don't like perfect, anyway. Yeah, anyways, so in what country did the tradition of Christmas Oh no, here's, sorry, wrong question. Oh my gosh. In what country did the tradition of the Christmas tree originate? Okay, I'm gonna go grab her ketchup. The question is, in what country did the tradition of the Christmas tree originate? Maybe if you know, ketchup. put it in the comments. Hey, and ketchup Olivia, there. Baby, this ketchup. is spicy. You don't like this. Let me get you ketchup. No, there that's you ketchup. And you can phone a friend for one of them only. That's I'll let ketchup. you phone a friend for one of them. That's ketchup. Go, babe. You have 15 seconds. One, Daddy, two, three, okay. four, in, five, over here, six, in Ireland? seven, eight. That's your final answer? Nine. How many guesses ten. do I have? No, you have one guess. Uh, Ireland. Ten, I don't know. 11, I literally 12, don't know. 13, Ireland. 14, Ireland. 15. Ireland. All right, let's see. Where did Christmas trees originate? Germany. I knew it was something like that. Good oh try. Gosh. <laughs> oh, you got me still. Okay. All right. Um, one step closer to not having to eat a spoonful of this. Let's go to the Germany, next one. Germany. Some of them are really easy. Okay, don't look. I think I'm I trying to look. My eyeball can't see that. Bit. Actually, let me ask you this question, then I'll eat. All right, here's the next question. What beverage is typically left out for Santa Claus on Christmas Eve? Milk. I'll give you that. It says milk and cookies, but it's you what beverage? What beverage? Dang, Chat GPT. If you're watching this, that's a dumb question. 
You said what beverage, and then you said milk and cookies. Come on, chat GPT, get it together, please. You got it, babe. Ding, ding, ding. Good job. One All right, thousand, Olivia one has thousand. one. That's two questions, and I'm asking you ten, and you have to get four done. No, you have to get four right. I'm only asking you ten. Oh. Okay, what is the title of the famous Christmas poem written by Clint Clark Moore? What? Okay, I'll give you two skips, because some of these questions you won't get. All right, if you know that one, cool. This, it's, oh, you should know this one. All right, I'll give it to you. It's, huh? twas the night before Christmas, but I don't, I don't know that one, so I wouldn't expect her to know it. So let's go to the next one. All right. What plant is often associated with Christmas and is often used for decorations? This one's easy. What plant is, well, I'll say it again. What plant is often associated with Christmas and is often used for decorations? What plant? 15 seconds. One. Garland? Two. Three. Pine? Four. Oh, five. Mama, six. Mama, seven. Mama Keep going, please. Oh. Pop it, baby. Ten seconds. Ten, nine, oh, eight, like seven, flat? six, what? five, four, three, two, one. The answer is mistletoe. Oh, mistletoe is a plant. That's what Chad GPT said. Sorry, guys. I had to grab Victory a chair. She's getting a little uncomfortable, and she's our princess. So this comes before the video. Anyways, I think I've asked Olivia so far. How many questions have I asked you? I asked her four questions, but one of them didn't count. So I asked her three questions. Seven more to go. She got one right. She needs to get four right. Let's keep going. All right, this one you should, I don't know if you're gonna know this one, but it's Chad GPT. And it's fun. Let's see if you know these. Oh. What, sorry, wrong one. Here it goes. In the song Jingle Bells, what kind of sleigh is mentioned? Jing, jingle Bell, like Jingle Bell, yeah. Jingle Bell, Jingle All The Way. Yep. Oh, what fun is to ride in a wondrous open sleigh. Yeah, 15 yeah, seconds. One, two, Three, what kind of what? Four. What kind of sleigh is mentioned? A one horse Five. open sleigh. Ah, oh, you got it! You said it and I thought you weren't going to get it. No. Woohoo! Woohoo! Alright, guys. I see there was another she literally said, there. one horse open sleigh, and I'm like, oh no, let me one start the timer. Alright, so the answer, I guess that's a type of sleigh. Okay. One horse jingle open bell, sleigh. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. all the way. Hey guys, we're back. We took a little intermission. We had to get Victory a little more settled. We got her some ice cream. Our version of ice cream because it's zero sugar tips for all the moms and dads. And let's get right into it. So I think Olivia, yep, low sugar or zero sugar. I think Olivia got two right, babe. You got two right? And I've asked you five questions. I got three right. No, you got one horse open sleigh roll and back you the, got. Roll it back. No, she, all she got right was milk and cookies and one horse open sleigh. And I've asked you four questions. So six more to go. She needs to get two more right. You can still phone a friend. And if she gets wait, wait, wait. four right, I have to eat sriracha. Down, so a spoonful of sriracha. No. Just hey, um, okay, so hey, you have hi. six more questions to go and you need to get two more hey, right. Hey. All right, guys, it's not looking good for me. Like I said, if Olivia gets two more right, I have to eat a spoonful of this. I keep saying it because I'm not anticipating it and I hope I don't have to, but let's keep going. So here's the next question. What do people traditionally hang above the fireplace for Santa Claus to fill? That's so easy. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds. 10. Talking. Ah! Chat GPT is not doing us good. Now, it is for you. That one's easy. That one's like so obvious. You should have to get five right. Can you give me like a better advantage? Cause five, you're gonna have to get seven. No, I said if you get four out of the ten right, let's change it to five out of the ten. Sorry guys, I changed the rules on the fly because it has to be like these are easy questions. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, next question. What city is known as the home of Santa Claus and attracts tourists with Christmas theme attractions? That's a hard one, but you need some hard ones because I'm losing right here. Santa's home? Yeah, yeah. Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, the North six, Pole? five, four. Three, uh, two, one. Do you mean? Time's up. No, this, is, this one's so hard. Like, how would you get this one? It's Rov Rovanami, Finland. Oh. I don't know. Okay. I'll put the spelling right there. But Rovanami, fin Finland, according to Chat GPT, we is, go there. is known. Yeah, we should go there for a vlog. Is known ah! as yes, baby. It's known as the home of Santa Claus, and. 
it attracts tourists with Christmas themed attractions. Stay tuned, we'll go there one day for a vlog. I love you, Victory. Okay, so. Get us 200K, we'll go there next year. Get us 200K, we'll go there next year. All right, next question, babe. And I love you too. Okay, this is question number seven, babe. So you're running out of questions. In the movie Home Alone, what is the name of the young boy left behind by his family during Christmas vacation? I'm gonna take a few bites and then time's up. What? What is the name of the young boy that's left behind in Home Alone? Um, um, um. Chris? No. His actual name? Ten. Oh nine. My gosh. Eight. Seven. Um, Just his first name, I'll give it to you. Like if you get it. Chris? Mm -mm. Bob? Ten. Nine. Bob? Steve? <laughs> Eight. Got it, got it. Oh, you got it! How'd you do <laughs> it? I promise. After I said Chris, Bob, I thought of the minions. I'm not gonna lie, I thought about the minions. And you thought of Kevin? And I was like, Kevin! Ah, she got it guys, so she has four. At first it was four, but we changed it to five. So if she gets one more right, I have to eat a spoonful of this. All right guys, we gotta take another break because we gotta get victory settled again, but it's all good. We're getting right back to it. So babe, I think I've asked you, let me see. Da -da -da -da. I've asked you seven questions. You have three more, okay? You've gotten four right, so if you get one more right, then I have to eat a spoonful of Okay, what's the question? Sriracha. Okay, the next question is, da -da -da -da, you have three more to go, okay. According to the song, what did my true love give to me on the ninth day of Christmas? I'm gonna give you 15 seconds the on these song? next ones. The song? What song? On, on, it's like, on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. So what, on what day? On the ninth day. I'm gonna give you 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I'm being too nice, I gotta go fast. Six, because I don't want to eat this chili. Seven, eight, nine, ten. How long am I giving you? Fifteen? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ding, ding, ding! Time's up. Nine golden rings. Oh my god. Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah! I didn't get it. What was it? What's the answer? I think it says. It says nine ladies dancing. Oh. Nine ladies dancing? Yeah. All right, anyways, two more questions. She has to get one more right. Nine gold <laughs> This one, I'm literally gonna give you 10 seconds because it's right, so easy, whatever. okay. <laughs> whatever. In the story, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dick Dickens, who is the main character visited by three ghosts? In the, I'll say it again, like 10 what? seconds. In the story, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. I know some of you know it. You're like, this is so easy. Who is the main character visited by three ghosts? Ready? Dude. You have to say his full name. 10, well, 9, 8. Name. You have to say it. I'm not. Screw it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's Ebenezer Scrooge. I don't know that. That shouldn't count, guys. Like it the, does count. The, look, I'll show you. The answer is literally. I don't know if you can see it. Look at the answer is literally Ebenezer it Scrooge. Counts. I'll show you. Look, it Ebenezer counts. Scrooge. No, because Mr. Scrooge. No, yes. you, you should have said that. Oh, it no, okay, guys. I asked her nine questions so far. She got four right. She has to get one more right, no, and I have not, to eat a spoonful of sriracha. Right. What, baby? Oh, Victory says I'm wrong. Nah, I think I'm right. Let's keep going. Okay, no, babe. that was a sign. Nah, this is good. Okay, guys, it's all down to this. She has one more question. If she gets it right, then I will eat a spoonful of chili. Okay, look, babe, there's 10 more right here, okay? I'm gonna let you pick a number and it's gonna decide what is the one you get. Okay, baby, sorry. I already ate bread. Go, babe, tell us. Pick a number. Some of them are super easy. What number is it? Yeah, pick a number one through 10, and then that's how it'll determine the question. Look, these are the questions, and then she's gonna pick it number one through ten. Uh, pick Go number babe. three. Okay, number three. Oh my gosh! I just gave you the answer to this one, but I don't know if you're gonna get it. Who wrote the classic story, A Christmas Carol? Ebenezer Scrooge. No, he was the main character in it. I just told you. Be quiet. I don't know. Okay. Sorry, baby. Make attention. Victory telling us to be quiet. Okay, let us get her settled. Be right back. Okay, babe, I'll give you another chance because like, I don't know, I feel like that's an old movie, so that's not fair for you. And I want it to be something that like you might know and like you can't okay, remember, that would be a better ending. So I'm trying to make it entertaining for you guys. Okay, babe, <laughs> pick a number between one and 10, another one. Seven. Seven, okay. 
Oh, this one's good. This one you might not know, but it's good. Okay. What are the names of Santa's reindeers in the poem A Visit from St. Nicholas? What? Okay. <laughs> There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. What? Okay, if you just get four of them, I'll give it to okay. you. Okay, Rudolph, the red nosed reindeer. He's actually not in that. What? I know. Dasher. Uh huh. And Dancer. Yes. Prancer. Yes. Dasher and Dancer and Prancer. <laughs> She's doing and... it, guys. Mm, I don't know. Keep going, baby. It's a blank. I don't know. One more, babe. One more. One more. Comet. Oh! You got and it. Listen. Yes. <laughs> oh, guys, I have to eat a spoonful of chili. I shouldn't have been so nice. Damn it. I'm okay, mad. Okay, I'm gonna do it. All right, let's do it. Give me a small spoon, babe. Can you go get it? No, I'm gonna squeeze it in your mouth. No, I said a spoonful. Give me but a small this spoon. This is so boring. This is boring. A spoonful is not boring. Go it's get it. a boring it. win. I need to squeeze it in your mouth. All right, I'll let her do that. Then I do a lot. Get ready. Hey, don't get it on my I, shirt. I, I, all right, let's go, guys. Just know if she does a lot or gets it on my shirt, you might see some okay, crazy happen. I'm gonna get it back. All right. See? I'm not a sore loser. I feel like if she the lost, spoons. if she lost, she wouldn't have done it. <laughs> She'd be like, no, no. The spoons are in the dishwasher, okay? What? Go out. I'm gonna do a spoonful though. No. This is gross. All right, practice, practice, practice. I'm gonna do this much. Okay. No, that's a lot. That's a spoonful. Do half of that. No. Sorry, Victory. That's less. Than She's telling us to be quiet. We're interrupting her. Is that a spoonful? What do you think? That's, that's less, a lot. That's less than a spoonful. All right, let's do it. Ready? I'm not. I'm not a sore loser. Ready? Dude, you're not even <laughs> aiming. Like, put it. Take it. Just no. let me do it. Trust but me. Make you, if you get it on me, I'll do I'm, that. All right, go. Just trust me. All right, let me hold it. No. Right. This is a trust test. Share, share. Okay, yes, she's telling us to share. Yes, okay, yes sorry. baby. She's our little mediator. She's like, share, guys. Okay, go. Okay, Come on, Stop. Dude. Don't put oh. your mouth on it. <laughs> not that bad. Oh, it's not that bad. Ew, it ew. felt gross. It'll it go bad. drink something. It's nasty. W, Benny. Is that a gangster? Hope oh, not. No, I won. W. W. Well, yeah, she gets a W. She won. I lost, but I also won because I did this. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. That's going to be the end of Vlogmas Day 6. six. Olivia won, like always. I think I just let her win. I feel bad. I love you. Yeah, right. If you've been watching since Vlogmas That's Day not 1. True. If you've been watching since Vlogmas Day 1, thank you so much. We love you guys. Guys, we have some cool, cool videos coming up. The next two videos. It's going to be fun. So stay tuned for that. We love you guys. We'll see you next video. And anything else, man? See you next video. Peace.